Hello everyone and welcome to another week of Family Praise Midweek Testimony. My name is Alex and this week we're going to be doing something different. Normally we'd have a special guest that I'd interview. Um, last week we interviewed myself. However, this week what we have is a video that has been put together for Mother's Day looking at the women that inspire us and we have a few people from church sharing about a bit about the women in their lives. As Mother's Day is approaching, I thought I'd say some words um, of appreciation for my mum. Firstly, she's always there to support me and she always encourages me to be the best that I can. Uh, she cares for me, she loves me and she always wants um, the best in me and she always shows how much she loves me in everything that she does. Um, she helps me grow closer to God um, and to understand more about Him as it says in Proverbs 31 verse 26 She speaks with wisdom and faithful instruction is on her tongue. I think this truly reflects my mother because she always wants to show me the right path and help me make right decisions. Um, and she wants me to be able to do the best that I can in order to understand more about God and to walk in a path that leads me to Him. A, a woman who's positively impacted my life would be my nan. She is always so kind and loving and caring. Uh, whenever we talk on the phone, the first thing she asks is, how's Zoe and how's Lydia doing? She's always so positive in everything she says. She never moans, she's never complaining. And even in the face of the pandemic, she's been such a positive person talking about the benefits and the good things and how she's been able to make the most of this. Um, she's always been so th thoughtful in making sure and so keen to make sure that I'm staying safe and thinking of others before herself. So for me, a positive um, role model would be my nan. One woman who inspires and influences me is my mum, um, which might seem quite an obvious answer um, considering it's Mother's Day, but she's taught me to push myself to see what I'm capable of and to work my absolute hardest in whatever I do. Um, she's also taught me to be kind to everyone, which is the best thing we can all ever do. Um, she's also taught me to have strength in my choices and to know what's right for me personally. Um, I would also say Sarah um, inspires and influences me because She's really helped me to grow in my faith, um, especially at the start um, when she helped me navigate the Bible, which is quite a hard journey to do by yourself. Um, and she still continues to help me grow in my faith to this day. Hey everyone, uh, my name is Josh, if you don't already know me, and I'm going to be speaking about my wonderful mother, Lynn. Um, on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm constantly amazed um, by the lengths in which she's willing to go for the people around her and the time uh, in which she spends and invests uh, in other people, which I've seen in a completely new way uh, during lockdown. Um, and I'm not gonna lie, I have been uh, encouraged, but also challenged in my own life um, to think in ways in which how I can be more like this, more selfless, uh, in my acts towards others. Um, so thank you, Mum, for all that you do for me uh, and all that you do for others as well. Hi, my name's Karina and a woman who's really impacted me in my life is my godmother, Di Morris. She's really impacted me because she's kind and lovely to spend time with us. She's so cheerful and positive. She's also a really good role model because she's kind and caring and supportive and she has a really good faith. She always lets me talk and she likes to listen to me talk about things that are really important to me. Like we've talked about horse riding before, so it's something that I really enjoy. 
But I also like listening to her tell stories about her life and what it was like living in South Africa. Because it's really interesting and it's really nice of her to share. Sometimes we go out to the cinema together and we watch some really good films and then we go to the ice cream parlour afterwards and it's really fun. I can't wait to see her again after lockdown, although I was able to see her a few times during the lockdown. I've been inspired by many women in different ways but it has to come back to one um, and that's mum. Um, thanks mum for everything. Um, it's amazing isn't it how a conversation over a cup of coffee uh, can put the world to rights and I remember uh, especially in my early 20s a couple of conversations where um, really spending an hour with mum uh, set my life in train for, uh, for what it is today um, and I'm really grateful for that um, and of course the uh, steadfastness and commitment of that motherly love is uh, something that's wonderful and it's something that um, now our children are able to benefit from too. Happy Mother's Day!